You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Well, we have some showers rolling into Northern California, but don't expect too much, if anything, in the valley. Most of that is staying out towards the coastal mountains, which is where we are looking at right now. Some of the mountains there with the clouds overall there. I think there's a bug there or something. But anyway, the clouds hovering around in the mountains, just a few showers sprinkling up there. But again, I don't think that's going to reach the valley anytime soon. Now, looking at our headlines, where can we expect to go from here? We have those showers at the coast, and those, cl but those clouds will be seeing them stick around tonight, but begin to break up early tomorrow morning. And then later on next week, especially the middle of next week, we have the chance for some valley showers, which is a nice relief given it has been about two-ish months since the last time we have seen some rain. Now with the clouds sticking around, our low temperatures are warming up nicely. This morning we had lows hovering in the upper 20s to around the low 30s. Tomorrow morning they will be much warmer, getting up to the 40s for lows by tomorrow morning. So it is much warmer than what we've had and it's aided by a lot of those clouds there. Now for highs tomorrow, hovering in the upper 60s across the valley, maybe even getting to a, a 70 degree mark in some spots down to willows in the areas. But for now, sticking with the upper 60s as the sun is expected to come out and a warmer air mass will be filtering in to Northern California. Now timing out some of the clouds and some of the showers for the future cast by 10 p.m. this evening. Just some, a few showers remaining out towards the coast. Some of that could filter into portions of the western edge of the valley. But even if it does do that, the humidity is so low it may not even reach the surface as the rain evaporates before it can reach the surface. Now by tomorrow morning, 9.30, as you're heading out and going about your day on Sunday, just a few clouds popping in here and there, nothing significant, few showers remaining out towards the coast, but we have a, cl a relatively clear day, partly cloudy to clear day in portions of the valley by tomorrow evening. And then that system moves on and we set up for our next system by early Monday morning as some clouds begin to roll on in. But as I mentioned, some a brief system coming in Sunday afternoon and Monday, that's when we'll start to watch another system pop by, but most of that stays well to our north and we get more clouds Monday into Tuesday. But then Wednesday, that's when we start to see our next system roll on in. And this could bring some showers to the valley and snow showers out towards the higher elevations of the Sierra and Southern Cascades. So keep that in mind if you have any travel plans, but it will be a nice relief to get some rain in the valley. That will move on pretty quickly by Friday morning. But the next seven days, temperatures top off in the upper 60s, maybe even hovering around 70 degrees by Monday for Chico and breezy conditions coming in Wednesday and Thursday with those showers possible. There is still some timing issues on that system, but for now coming in with Wednesday to Thursday timing and then drying out for the end of the week with cooler temperatures hovering in the lower 60s and pretty much the same thing for Reading, but some places getting a little above 70 degrees by Monday and Tuesday.